I got an earful from Curtis Johnson and his brothers about the salmon problem, which they say was caused by the Indians themselves. These people that work for the tribes, I, I believe that behind every picture over there in the office is a sign that says, get whitey, and that's their mantra. Yeah, they're, 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 they're Indian people. lovers. They got screwed. We're going to save them. Yeah. yeah. To hell with the farmers and the farming. The, to hell with everybody. They got screwed in 1870. At Little Bighorn or wherever it was. I wasn't there. I didn't do it. Hell, when my great grandpa came here, nobody said, don't, don't farm this land. It's fish country. I mean, it, what we're seeing here is a collision of two cultures, a collision of two industries, if you will, a mm -hmm. collision two, of two, two ways natural, of life. Two natural resource industries are on a collision course. This cultural and economic collision landed in court. The tribe filed suit to remove tidal gates in one of the seawall dikes to recover old salmon habitat. A federal judge ruled firmly in favor of the tribe, pushing the two sides to strike a limited deal that will be tricky to carry out. But prospects are dim for negotiating a wider settlement. I mean, if you're going to negotiate with somebody, there's got to be trust, doesn't there? I mean, if you're going to do it, I mean, is, is trust a problem? It is. It is not easy. And I think you nailed, nailed it when you said trust. I mean, there's not too much trust right now. Is there any trust left? It sounds like you don't trust them and, and they don't trust you. That, there is no trust between me and them. None. Zero.